We are here in Malad City, Idaho on our way up uh, with our own personal live wire for some updates and some uh, really cool additions to it as well uh, to set it apart. We have another special bike in here too from prior years, like an 80 year old motorcycle that's in this thing right now. So really excited to share it with you. It's St. Patrick's Day, so I'm wearing my green today as well, along with the team and uh, stay tuned. What we've got is the new live wire. Um, we're gonna be adding some carbon fiber accents to Harley, and then we've got some grips, charging cover, a few more accents, pegs, axle nut covers, sulfur and Rizoma. Really cool stuff, really nice. Um, quality is amazing. So it should dress it up just a little bit, give it a little sportier, nicer feel. All right, so we just finished up the install of some really cool accessories on this live wire. So we have Harley's uh, carbon fiber covers. We've got one for the passenger seat back here, just slides over, you take it right back off, super simple. We did the front windscreen up here, matches. And then the, just some cool little accents on the sides, cover up some of the chrome and the rear master cylinder, all in carbon fiber. So a couple other things we did was the Rizoma charging cover, along with their grips and rider and passenger pegs. Um, super nice, grippy, a little bit bigger than the factory, so when you wind this thing up, it'll keep you on the bike. Um, yeah, it turned out awesome. Okay, so the live wire is done. You guys flashed it with some updates. It's running great. We added some Rizoma pieces to this some carbon fiber bits. Can't wait to get this back out on the roads. Uh, but we told you, or I told you, that I was gonna show you a really special bike that we brought up today. It's running. It's a 1942 WLA right over here. The WLA for you Harley enthusiasts know that this is a really, really cool bike. These were used uh, by our servicemen and women in World War II. And this really set off the new custom bike scene. Uh, service folks with our veterans came back with these motorcycles and they started customizing them. They started turning them into bobbers, different paint jobs. And I'm really, really happy to have this one in my collection and be able to get out and experience and ride it today. So I had to get the period correct clothing on. But um, Matt, man, how times have changed. This bike, um, part of your suspension was this seat. So no suspension in the back. It's a, it's a hard tail in the back. And if you put some weight on the seat, it's part of your suspension. Springer suspension up front, so it does ride a little rough, but man, this thing rips. It has a nice bottom end, uh, 45 cubic inch engine. Modern Harleys, you can get a crate engine that's 131 cubic inches, so things really have changed, but this is one of the, you know, early iterations of that particular engine uh, that we live with today, the Milwaukee 8. This bike was a blast to ride. Uh, it took a little while to get used to it. Uh, as you can see, no hand clutch. Got the throttle up here. You do have some braking, but it's rudimentary braking. Um, and you have a foot clutch. So uh, as my friend that taught me how to ride this from Salt City Builds down Salt Lake City, um, it's toe to go. So you get into gear, you roll in and engage the clutch by pushing down on the toe. The shifter's right up here on the tank. It takes a little while to get used to. 
Uh, but I had a great time uh, trying this out here in Idaho Falls. All right, well, thanks for joining us today. Um, headed back down to Utah. Got to get down there to take care of some business. Love checking in on the team here. Jim, Shane, all of our technicians here. Um, we're enthusiasts ourselves, riders ourselves. We understand motorcycles, motorcycle culture. We get out and ride these things ourselves. Come in and see the team today. I'm heading out. Thanks for joining us today.